The following segment is sponsored by Uplift Families. Welcome back. By now, we've all heard that vaping has some serious consequences. Yes, and a lot of teens are doing it. We have Dr. Adam Wallstrom, a board-certified pediatrician, here with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for letting me come here. Okay, doctor, do you see vaping as an increasing problem for children and teenagers? I do. I do see it as an increasing problem. Having more and more kids, as they come into my office and we discuss, you know, we always discuss different things such as alcohol and drugs use and those sort of issues, but they will not even bring up vaping. I have to specifically bring it up and more and more kids are actually doing it. They don't even know it's an issue. Wow. Okay. We've all seen people do it, but I don't know exactly what it is. Can we talk about the definition? Well, vaping is any time you use what we call an e-cigarette, which is essentially an electronic device that's got a heating coil in it. And uh, you use uh, such uh, things as THC or nicotine that are heated up on these coils and they produce a water vapor, vapor that you inhale. So oh. is this way of smoking or vaping considered safer than regular smoking? Is that maybe why kids don't think it's as bad? Well, I mean, I think at first people thought that was true, but it is not safer. In fact, since it's new, there's more and more things coming out that are more dangerous about it, such as vaping-associated pulmonary injury. That doesn't sound good. Can no. you describe what that is? No, it's not good. And uh, what's the scariest thing is that we're just barely figuring out what this is uh, over the past few months. And essentially what it is, is something or a chemical inside of the vaping substances is causing an inflammatory response in the lungs. And this is making an issue for kids as they're coming into the ERs and the clinics and they're having mm -hmm. a hard time breathing and they're needing some uh, oxygen and some other supportive measures. So do you have any cures for this disease that you're seeing kids come in with? No, not necessarily, and that makes it a little bit troubling is that we don't have a cure for it. We have, like I said, supportive measures, and we can help these kids out, but it's not like an antibiotic that will say it to solve this sort of issue, so sure. that's the problem. Now, I, I hear you say kids. How yeah. young are we talking? You know, I have kids coming into my office now that are 10, 11, 12 who are doing vaping right now. Wow. And I think it extends back. I can't even back. Yeah. imagine seeing a 10-year-old. I'd probably go smack it out yeah, of their no. hand. They, they just don't know exactly what's wrong with it. And I think they're just experimenting earlier and earlier. Sure. So, so if people want more information about this, you guys have an article out that they can read and kind of learn yeah. a little bit more. Where can we find that? Yeah, it's at upliftfamilies.org. And that should be available today. And you can go on there and read a little bit more about it. It. That's such an amazing website. Okay, what do you want people to know about it? Do we maybe need to start with a conversation with our kids? Yeah, I would say that it's important for us as parents that we need to get involved with uh, talking to our kids about what it is, letting them know the dangers and that it's not a safe alternative to smoking. So can anyone that, just buy it? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I just, can, right. can you, is there an age sure, limit? In shock. <laughs> I know, you know that it, it's, a, it's still, I mean, they're still coming up with laws and things and so it's not as regulated as smoking was, no. Wow. That's yeah. so scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, to think of all the stuff that's available to our kids these days is yeah. really frightening. Yeah. And you guys are such a great resource. So if people want to contact you, get help, or get more information, where can they go? Well, like I said, upliftfamilies.org is a good place to go. And if you want to find out more information about it, the cdc.org or uh, the aap.org is a good resource. Perfect. Thank you for mm -hmm. all the information, Thank you. Yeah, thank you.